took my daughter to uh, Northampton and I needed some paint so uh, they got a got more game skins workshop place. Got myself some paints and bow down to uh, popular opinion um, due to Ozzy York and uh, Richter Scale Studios. And I bought some more. So, but look at the price of that freaking thing. Yeah. So I bought these and I'm going to do them later on. I'm sticking them by a little bit for because uh, uh, winter's coming. So I'm going to be getting out the car booties and things. But uh, also, uh, my daughter wanted me to paint this for her. So I'm going to give that a go. And I've got all the paints that I need for it in here. So I'm going to give that fella a go. So this is the beginning of one video update. And I'll do a few more on how I deal with it. Good luck. So I'm doing this figure for my daughter. This is the first Warhammer fantasy figure I've ever, well, ever bought or owned. I lie, that's not true. I bought one before for my daughter to do, but so this is the first one I'm ever gonna paint. Yeah, it's uh, that I've glued it and primed it. There we go. Thank you very much. Ho, 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 ho. This is primed on the coat and a wash. Um, the video I'm following is Warboss Tays. Um, he's done a really good version of it, so I'm going to copy his one. Um, so, that's where I got with that. It's, um, not as easy as you think trying to get in there with the hair. So I took the hair off again and then painted in between. Anyways, more tomorrow. Alright, this is the finished model. A Followed out more past Tao's vi video of the same model, and this is what I've come up with. This is for my daughter, it's our model. She asked me to paint it for her. Here we go. That's it. Um, I, I like the paint following more boss Tao's painting, it was um, made it easier, but um. um the actual hair doesn't fit well and I can be bothered to work it out too much so I just glued it where I could get it so it looks like a wig banshee with a wig anyways there we go